template functionality. If you'd like to save some time creating future requests, you can create reusable templates to pre-populate your request with data. Simply click on the Templates link towards the top right of the screen to be taken to a list view of your templates. Similar to the request dashboard, RDRS requesters have the ability to create and manage their templates from this screen. The first time you visit this page, it will be empty because you will not have created any templates. But as you create them, they will populate into a list view format. You can create a template by clicking the Create a New Template button. The template will look like the request form, but there are now fields for template name and description instead of name and email. Provide a name for your template and brief description and populate any content you wish to reuse for other requests. Please note that because attachments will likely vary by request, RDRS will not store any attachments and templates. Once you've finished, click Save Template to save your created request template. Your template will appear on the template list view. Clicking anywhere on a created template will allow you to open that pre-populated form where you can make revisions and cancel, save as a new template, or update template. However, clicking on the request link from the corresponding action column will open up a request from that template. When making a new request from a template, you'll need to fill out any remaining pertinent info on the request that you wouldn't be able to provide in the template, like the domain subject and any supporting PDF attachments. Let's click Next to go to the second step. On this screen, depending on how you answered a particular question in the template, you may be prompted to provide a supporting file. Remember, RDRS accepts only PDF files, up to five attachments, with a maximum of five megabytes per file. Once all required fields are completed, the Review button will unlock for the requester to click. Confirm that you correctly entered the content of your request. Once you've agreed, that the data is correct to the best of your ability, check the first confirmation box. If you agree to comply with any applicable data protection laws, then check the second confirmation box. Once both confirmation boxes are checked, the requester can click Export PDF to generate and download a copy of the request, or click Submit to send the request to the registrar for approval. Thank you for viewing this instructional video. We hope it has effectively taught you how to use the Registration Data Request Service as a requester. If you have any questions or concerns, please email globalsupport at ICANN.org. <laughs>